what's going on oh fucus yes that's what i said we got some individuals going on birthday blessings to those of you who don't know fucus dates are november 30th to december 18th so shout outs to them birthday blessings okay we're gonna jump into your well the rest of 2023 okay reading see what's going on what's closing out whatever whatever as we get ready going to 2024 so we are going to start off with the hidden the heart's hidden secrets yeah something shocking i kept seeing a tower there's karma so what i was getting like not for nothing i kept saying oh fucus let me hold a dollar <laughs> so and the hand that um biting the hand that feeds you so I feel like you do have a lot of people who's coming back around, especially, you know, we in this Mercury retrograde. It's like the shadow period. I think it's about to hit strong soon. But, you know, that's what we got for the rest of the year. Like, I feel like people who was down you all year, they're really shocked to see where you are right now. Okay. People cause you a lot of pain, a lot of sorrow. Right. And now they want to come back for a second chance because they need you. What I just said, pain and sorrow. Look, they need you. They think that you're soft and you're weak and that you'll give them a chance, okay? Somebody looks at you like um, ben like you got all the benefits. You have everything that somebody needs or whoever's trying to deal with you or trying to come towards you. Possibilities here, yeah, your free spirit, and risk, event, like you have it all. You're f free falling, <clears throat> right? Yeah, so listen to your intuition. I feel like music is definitely um, helping you out right now if you guess, okay? But let's, okay, that is definitely in reverse. Yeah, you are not hopeless at all for the rest of this year. Like, I feel like at one given part, one given point, you know, you did feel like you were falling apart, like things weren't working out. You know, you were exhausted, you were tired, you know, you was sitting in survival mode, right? But now it's like you're, you're full out thriving. And that's why people want to come back and return. They want a second chance. They want an opportunity. Somebody wants to make a whole new vase. Or a new pot or a new glass because they realize that, you know, the like trust like a glass, like they broke it. And even though, you know, you tr you tried to piece it back together, all those cracks in it, it just it wasn't the same. So somebody's trying to like really make something new here with you because they see that, you know, like you're new, you're new energy, you're a new person, you new money. That's what I'm saying. Like, let me hold a dollar. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you have hit your breaking point. Okay. Like you done with people doing this in and out, back and forth shit with you, trying to fuck you over. Somebody else is also losing their breaking point. This is somebody who used Apple products, okay? Um, and then these hands. Like, whatever you do, you're good with your hands. There was something that you had faith in that you could do or you believed in doing. Somebody told you you couldn't do it. And at some given point, you felt like you couldn't achieve it either, and you did. And you have become very lucrative surrounding it. Like, you're very damn good at whatever this craft is that you have developed. And somebody's watching you. And I feel like they're losing their shit here. <laughs> they're going to cry in the car. Go back and watch that reading. That could relate to y'all. But, um, yeah, somebody is just like, what the fuck? Like, how's if you can still making it? How are they still doing it? No, I need to get back over there. Why are people liking them? Why do they have a following? Why are people supporting them? Why aren't people supporting me? Somebody is realizing... I'm hearing stolen. So somebody could have stole some sort of information or a product or idea from you. And I feel like you flipped it and reversed it. And now they're losing all the clientele, all the attention, the focus. Now they want to come back around because somebody needs to know what you're doing, how you're doing it. To take it from you, to steal from you, okay? Yeah, escaping. Yeah, and I feel like you're not dealing with these people. Eight of Cups, you don't walk away. Have Pisces energy here. You don't walk away. You're not dealing with these people anymore. <clears throat> You're not distracted. Change. Sidetrack. Delays. These people want to cause all these delays. Want to have you in your feelings and shit. Play with you emotionally. Could, could have been a um, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces energy. Or you could be a, a Fucus energy who's more on the can um, the Cancer. Listen to me. You could have strong Cancer placements. But you could be closer to that Scorpio lining. So let's grab something about your finances. Yeah, y'all been shopping and having a good old time. And somebody want to come back around you for the benefits of you. Somebody really thought that you weren't going to be able to make it. And you did. I feel like, you know, you giving people jobs. Feel me? Yeah, look at you getting new cars and shit. Looking fly. <laughs> Y'all here looking fly. Yeah, your credit got right. You done fixed your credit this year. You done did a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, you put yourself in the right direction. A lot of you guys could have moved. Did a lot of traveling, preparing to travel. 
You did a lot. Yeah, and it's shopping. I'm telling you, like, you you really le bossed up. You leveled up big time. And there's people who are watching you who are in deep regret because, first off, they try to deplete you of everything you had. It did not, and then, oh, and people who really did you dirty and want to come back now because they see that you want to up and up. So, let's get this finance card. Yeah, performance evaluation. You just looking at these people, it was like, no, you get the red circle, like, shitty performance, terrible person, okay? And when you was around in my energy, you was overexpending my energy, overexerting my energy. You weren't appreciating me. I also feel like, you know, a lot of... <laughs> I heard counting ducks. I, I'm used to setting ducks, but this is counting ducks or something like you're you put your ducks in a row. And somebody was so busy trying to count the ducks that you put in a row. They weren't focused on their own shit. They weren't focused on getting themselves better. They was busy focusing on counting the number of ducks you was putting in a row. I feel like you set so much up. These people who lost count. They got sidetracked. <sighs> This always gives me the um, two sets of footprints in the scene. Always that whole, like, Jesus carrying you thing. Like, Jesus got you up out of that. God said, nah, that's enough. And I feel like, you know, you took time to really see who was there for you and who wasn't there for you. And you realize all the people who was only there to take from you. People who were causing you to have these delays. People who were causing you to exert more energy than you wanted. A lot of you guys also are leaving jobs because I feel like you're evaluating the job you're at. And you're just like, nah, you're taking too much from me. You want too much from me. And this job probably like, no, please don't leave. We need you. But you're like, nah, fuck that. I'm gone. You're doing the same shit with friends. You're doing the shit with families. You're doing the shit with romantic interests. You're really just, you're, you're counting. You're doing your pros and your cons here. And you're doing the process of elimination. You cutting folks out and people... People was real bent out of shape. I feel like you were already doing this. So it's like when these people come back, you just going to hand them their performance evaluation. Like you got your own little notebook where you was writing about people. Like, yeah, this person could never come back in my life because they did not believe in me. So if they come back and want to get down with this project, they I got to remind them that you ain't think that this was going to come up off the ground. Or this the same person who was taken from me constantly, this bitch stole from me. This person borrowed all his money, never gave it back. Like you... Taking all that stuff into account. So when these folks come back around, you already know who you're not fucking with. Like, big time. Like, you know who you're not fucking with. I was trying to decide how I was going to do this. Yeah, live and learn, 27. Yeah, you got somebody real stressed out. They haunted by all the shit that they've done to you. It's crazy how the deck did that. Somebody could be losing their home. Real estate is in reverse here. Yeah, it's all a part of the plan. What somebody thought was going to be a plan and a strategy for you end up... Falling out on them and now they stressed out. Yeah, this is definitely somebody could need somewhere to stay. It's all a part of the plan, God's plan. But somebody could definitely need a place to stay. And they're looking for a handout from you. What's this hopeless in reverse? <laughs> yeah, justice. You ain't <laughs> you not hurting, yo. Eleven, justice, Libra energy, merit making, you've been doing a whole lot of praying. Sixty four, one one one, you could be seeing one eleven, okay? You've been doing a lot of praying, and trust me, your prayers were answered. Yeah, seven here. It's that holy number right there. You, you, you being blessed for, like, constantly pushing through regardless of what was going on around you. What's this return about? What's this return about? One more. I'm getting two cards on everything. What's this return about? Thank you. Ooh. So whoever's returning is somebody who was definitely hoping that they could have left you in a real shitty ass position because this car flew right up under there. They don't like the fact that things worked out better for you than what they were planning for you. Somebody was really hoping for you to fail, to need them, and it's, it's completely the other way around. This car don't even want to come up. Yeah, third party, third will, motherfuckers who always whisper in your ear, them busy bodies, them fucking bees, 37 breaking down to a 10. Just like the 64 was a 10. 10, 10, next to each other. It's a fucking ending for this, people. It's a wrap. It's nothing they can do. Yeah, look, these bullies, 68, 14, breaking down to a 5. That's a change. Major tower for these people who want to come back. These are people who really were harassing you, putting you down, putting you in third party situations, putting other folks over you, taking your shit and giving it to somebody else. Like, 
when you barely have people coming to you and asking and you helping only for them to go give to somebody who got it. Yeah, these motherfuckers were the ones who were trying to stop you from moving forward here. People who didn't like the fact that you thought for yourself, didn't want you to think for your own mind. Okay, what's this breaking point? Yeah, see, somebody who's watching you, they're really upset watching you 26 break down to an 8, reach your goal. Like, I feel like you, you got some sort of fame and fortune or some sort of attention. Like, somebody else is giving you recognition. I don't feel like you're doing this, like you're putting yourself out there, but other people are able to see, like, how well you're doing. I, somebody really expects you to look broke, busted, and disgusted, and you're not. And they're really upset. Yep, death, 79, Scorpio energy. Somebody was hoping that, like, you were supposed to be looking like a corpse by now. You were supposed to, like, off yourself or be a corpse or everything was supposed to come to shit. And that didn't even happen. Whatever it was that they sent or they did to you, you took that and you transmuted that. And you became a very strong individual. And you accomplished more than what you thought you was. And you accomplished everything that you wanted and some. And you definitely accomplished more than what these folks and your energy was trying to stop you from doing. Keep it up, Ophiuchus. Yeah, see, look at that. They were sending all types of weird shit your way, projecting all type of bullshit to you. 57 breaks down to a 12. Pisces type energy. Trying to hold you. Yeah, and you escaped this robbery. And I'm trying to still think. Look, this person on a computer. 59. These could be ages or years that somebody's born as well. 59, though. Yeah, somebody really tried to, like, cause all these accidents, 16, sweet 16, this could even be a parent, not trying to help you, trying to steal from you, trying to block from you, trying to steal your dreams, you got away, you sleeping well at night, 39, that's 20 in between that, that's a dub, that's judgment, mm-hmm, 29, reservation, okay, 999 on all those cards, yeah, you done closed that out, you ain't worried about that, like I said, you got new cars, <laughs> Right? Love, life is good. Oh, I had to sneeze? Child. But yeah, life is good. Life is good. You got the whole world in your hand. That's literally what I'm hearing. You got the whole world in your hand. You got... Look, as I said that, you got the whole world in your hand. Yeah, you ain't got time to be fighting with nobody. I feel like you you never had the time or the energy. People just kept picking these fights with you to slow you down all the time. And it was like, what the fuck, yo? What am I your business? So let's pull the energy read for the rest of the year. Okay. Ooh, what a cut. See, you went through a lot of shit. A lot of shit at the top of the year, like the first half of the year. You went through a lot of shit. And then the course, though, just got lighter. Like, you you really, like, buckled down. You could have lost a lot and gained a lot of bullshit. But then you weeded that shit out. And you, like, really balanced yourself out for the rest of the year. And it's really shocked the fuck out of people that you really don't came up. Somebody talking hella shit about you. They don't like this. Hmm. They don't like that because you're sending this King of Pentacle energy. Okay. Very financially abundant. Wealthy, even. Like I said, y'all got a new cars, new house, do everything, go on vacations, y'all doing the damn thing. You got Capricorn, Taurus, heavy in your chart somewhere. Okay, could be even be in your second or your third house or in your, I don't know what your Jupiter house is. What is that, 10th house? Yeah. <laughs> but you, you got it, yo. Like, you got it and people are seeing it. Because you, you are regal. You're sitting very fucking lovely. And I don't even feel like you're boasting. You're trying to brag. Like I said, you're minding your business. You're trying to avoid all these people. But they they can't help but see you and find out about you from other people. And now they want to come towards you type shit. The block here was never trying to block you. It was an opportunity trying to come towards you. I'm telling you, these people who are trying to come towards you are trying to stop any other doors from opening. They're also trying to steal this pentacle that you're already looking at, that you've already received. Okay, it could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's trying to do this to you. Okay. Yeah, you big, big daddy or big mama. Okay. You got that big, big, big cocky energy. Okay. Emperor. Aries energy there. That could be in your rising. But you got big cocky energy. And you know it already. Like, you know you done made boss moves. You know you done leveled up. You know where you stand. I feel like, you know, I'm, I definitely got to be talking to, like, a masculine energy to some degree here. Right? Like, the color red is significant. Very grounded here. Okay? Yellow. 
very much so confident and you know exactly what you're here to do and you're doing it and you know you're doing it and you know you look fly as fuck doing it okay yeah down but what you don't know is regardless of what these people trying to steal and take from you they ain't gonna be able to take shit from you taurus energy they're not gonna be able to take shit from you you can have a taurus moon Or this hidden person or these hidden energies that could have Taurus as a strong placement. Tony, somebody around you got heavy earth in their chart who trying to do this fucked up shit to you. This person tried to do a lot of... Mm, we're not even going to go that deep. Book a reading if you want to go that deep. And yeah, see in the past, you, you dealt with the past in the past. Feel me? You done already cleared that shit up. You done... Page of dues, cut your ties, feel me? People who had to walk away, they done fucking walked away. They done left the situation. You know, you started giving to people. You started coming from a more loving heart space, right? You started reminiscing. You did the inner healing work for yourself, right? You went back to follow and focus on those dreams and aspirations that you had when you were younger. And it made you boss up. It helped you boss up. It helped you level up. Like, I don't know what people don't understand about that. Like, yo, work on yourself. Heal yourself. Work on yourself. Be kind to people. Move from a space of love. Right? And trust me, God will give you whatever it is that your heart desires. You don't got to go out here and try to kill, steal, and destroy from other people. God wants to bless you. Do the right thing. And I ain't Spike Lee in you right now. Feel me? Yeah, I feel like you about to shut these people down with this King of Swords. You already know. You know what they MO is. You know what they about to come in here and try to say. And you ain't about to hear none of that shit. You cutting people smooth the fuck off. That's that justice. You are the justice. Libra energy here. Aquarius energy. You ain't got, you really ain't got too much to say to these people. But you got enough to say. If they dare come up and say something to you, you got receipts, you got proof and everything. And I feel like you're going to shut these people down with like two words. Bitch, leave. <laughs> like, bitch, gone. <laughs> like, bitch, gone. <laughs> bitch, gone. Like, that's what it is. And like, they need, to, they need to notice and understand this. It's like, you know exactly why I'm dismissing you. Like, literally, that's how he looked. Like, you know why I'm dismissing you. Okay. Yeah, because you moving forward. Cancer energy. And like I said, a lot of you guys are getting a new car. You got a new car or some shit. And that's how people really seeing you. You looking nice as fuck. They said, damn, a few kids doing it like that. Yes, the fuck they are. Somebody upset, but you moving forward here. Being very successful. A lot of you guys have changed your, your jobs here. Some of you might even... You have somebody you got to get a restraining order against. Somebody got a table hockey game? Somebody, I don't know, this is giving me like a Dave and Buster vibes. But somebody like, I don't know, like a lot of tickets playing like the um, air hockey game or something like that. Or winning a lot of prizes, like you won a lot of prizes. I feel like you got a lot, you have a lot of experiences, you've been through a lot of shit too this year. All these notches on your belt is five of them, that's... Five has changed. You've been through a lot. You got a lot of notches on your belt, a lot of experience, and a lot of knowledge. You learned a lot of things this year. Something major could have happened in July that really just pushed you forward where you was like, fuck these people. And didn't I say the first half of the year was very tough? The first six months? And once you hit July, you just like, fuck that. And you just went, you hit the ground running and you were impossible. It couldn't stop you. And now you're literally sitting in this emperor energy. Like you put that work in. The universe is saying, you beard your cross. You took up your cross and you carried your own. Just like Jesus did. And they wanted to crucify you and all that shit. But you know what? You bore your cross. You walked that stretch. You walked where you had to go. You did what you had to do in a struggle by yourself. And the universe is saying, you could do that shit again. But understand, these burdens, you ain't got to worry about carrying them more because tens are endings. You can get ready, put them burdens down. You don't gotta be burdened. You don't boss that low that you know what the fuck it is. You do. Just keep going, keep moving. You did this shit by yourself. This is like the little red hen. That's why red is significant, right? Yeah, I said that. Little red hen energy. Everybody wanted to doubt you, nobody wanted to help you. And then when you figured it out and got it done, and now you done got the results that you were looking for. Everybody wanna come through for a handout and want a piece of your results. Hell no. 
Queen of Swords, you really hoping that nobody don't come and try to talk to you and try to say some shit? Like, you really don't want to have to cuss nobody out? Like, you really don't. You hoping nobody don't come and be bitter? Like, and honestly, you didn't want people to be bitter or look at you sideways, especially if this is another partner. Okay, and I'm really getting more like a business partner or something like that, or even a friendship. I mean, this could be your romantic lover here. This could have been somebody you was married to. For those of you who are married, you don't want this bitch to come around being bitter. And I don't say bitch like it's a lady. It could be a man. Take the energy, flip it, okay? But it's like you don't want this person to come around on some bitter shit and like demanding more, wanting more from you, trying to take from you, gotten some salty, trying to throw salt and shit on your name. Like you really ain't trying to deal with that. But understand that you're the king of swords and you upright. So you definitely in your power. This Whatever this queen of swords is that you're worried about or that energy that you're worried about that's going to come towards you, you, like I said, bitch gone. Bitch gone. Bitch gone. Yeah. Six of Pentacles. And I feel like, you know, I got crumbs. See, and that's the thing. Like, you're still a very nice, humble person. So even if this person came and came bitching to you, you probably still throw them a couple crumbs just so they can shut the fuck up. But you know not to give them this and this is what they trying to block and what they trying to stop you from actually achieving like something at a large grand scale you know to give them enough enough to satisfy here i'm paying ties to you my ties is to help out look i help the needy here you go with your needy ass that's what that shit is yep aries energy full something about september 20th the year 2017 or 20 it's a dub you got like you just gonna be like here, but I'm out. I'm off doing whatever the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm not worried about you. <laughs> yeah, this oh that's crazy. Cause that's like the same pattern on this like Oracle card deck. That's crazy. And that's the next deck that I'm pulling. Yeah. You know that you want to something new, so you can give them the little pennies, the little crumbs. Oh, remember that fifty dollars I let you borrow? Hell, take your fifty dollars. Bitch gone. Bye. That's all you get. You get that fifty dollars back. You want to bitch about it, here you go. Gone. Because you know that things are changing for you. We have Libra. We have Sagittarius. We have Scorpio. Aquarius. Leo. As I said, Leo. I'm telling you. I'm. This is definitely like somebody in their masculine energy. Like you are a go-getter. You are thriving. You are striving. And you are providing. Okay. Like you are doing what the fuck you said. And you are making that money. You you the shit. And it's crazy because the only like water. Remember I was talking water energy. Truly is this where you're at as the cancer energy. As the chariot. You're moving forward. You're not allowing your eight of cups energy. Like I said you're not allowing your emotions to get played. People can't play on your emotions. And I feel like they could at some given time. But that shit not happening no more. You really looking at things from a logical perspective. Somebody want to keep coming and running their mouth. So you about to tell them about their stuff and then you about to keep going about your business because you know you big dick energy over here. All of this, yeah. You not in your head no more. Eight of swords, Gemini energy. And like I said, you ain't got shit to say to these people. This Mercury retrograde, you definitely got a lot of motherfuckers coming back towards you. But they don't understand. Your sights are already seen. You got your queen of wands. You got your person. So this could even be like you replacing folks. Your real soul tribe coming through. People who are just as passionate about the same shit as you. Instead of people want to sit around and gossip and talk all that bullshit. You're not dealing with that no more. Let's close this out. Yeah, pull another card from your tarot deck. Pull another card from your tarot deck. Well, what tarot deck would that be? I don't know. I keep looking at this money deck. So let's see. One more. One more. Okay. It gave us two more. Dress to impress. Okay. Like I said, you looking fly as fuck. You also, some of you guys could also have an interview coming up. Somebody could, you could have an interview or something or something important. I don't know. I just, I just seen the opera. Like I seen the word opera. So I don't know if you're going out, if you're about to take somebody out, somebody's coming to take you out. Okay. Yeah. Growth. Ooh. Somebody making a baby. Or you could be getting married. Somebody's upset that you're with somebody new. If you're with somebody new, you got an ex. They mad as fuck. They mad at this queen of wands. This queen of swords in reverse is mad at this queen of wands. 
This bit of bitch is mad about this confident bitch. This bitch who ain't got no confidence. This goofy ass bitch can't even think straight. This earhead bitch. She's mad. Or he. You got an earhead around you. Somebody who thought they could manipulate you out of everything. Who's upset because you have somebody who actually matches your fly. Ooh. Yeah. You met someone, somebody in your soul tribe who helped put you in the right direction. <laughs> this could be somebody who also lives at a distance from you. But this is why this person really the fuck upset. That's why you got people really upset. You got new people, or like new energy. Good energy. Energy that can never be. They can't mimic or imitate. There's someone around you as well. All right. They, they said that's enough. Okay. Let's close this out. Final message. Final messages for Fucus, Divine Holy Spirit. What they need to know for the rest of the year. Dress to impress. I don't know. It could be something with New Year's too. New Year's Eve. Well, somebody gonna make a baby. Ugh. Gonna have those those uh Virgo Libra babies. Might have had them Virgo Libra babies. Have a Libra baby. Them justice babies. <laughs> Final messages here. My lord. Well, somebody, yeah, somebody could be pissed off that you could potentially be having a Libra baby. Ooh. 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 I can't wait until, like, we call to do, like, some um 2024s to get into this. But beauty is all around you. Okay, you're a beautiful being. Like I said, you look good. We already know that. Dress and press, right? And you done did so much. You accomplished so much, right? Even if you got kids, your kids look good. You take damn good care of your kids. Like, it's like little mini-me's and shit like that. But beauty is all around you, and you know that, and you see that. And you started operating out of that in your past, from the shit of your past. That's why you sleep well at night, because you're appreciative of life. Your energy is so sacred. What I say, that merit making, you are, you are a very humble, beautiful soul, Fucus. You are and truly that sign of ether, that healer, okay? So that has been your message. I love your face. Birthday blessings again. Until the next time we speak, peace out.